Be conscious, be sensitive. Be conscious of the voice of the Spirit. Wow! Praise God! Congratulations, Debbie! I am happy for you! Praise God! Mommy has decided to celebrate it with a lunch get together for me and my friends by 2 p.m. today. And she said I must invite you because you were the one God used to turn my life around. But please don't say no. I know you're a very busy person. Besides, the invitation is so sudden. But please! It's, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I will try to be there. Hmm? I'll try all I can to make sure I'm there. <laughs> okay, baby. I'll, I guess I'll see you later. Bye. Now that on the witness of the house, okay. they said Brother Israel mm. that the house was on fire. So Brother Israel went inside here to save Debbie. Went into the fire? Yes. Oh my god! Why? Huh? When your wedding is just seven weeks, huh? how can it take such a week at the end at the expense of his own life? Could this be an attack? What is wrong with it? An attack? Ah! See, I must do this wedding. I must do it. In the name of Jesus. Yes, eh. Please don't. See, you don't go here now. Hey, yes, the new will not be stopping me. I will do this right now. Come on, 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 come on
Coming. Right. Super glad about you. I'm so happy. Mm. I'm happy for her. Mm. I'm not so happy. Mm. Bro, Israel. Look at the way he risks his life to rescue his new converts from the fire three days ago. Do you know I didn't have money to register for my final exams? And the registration was almost closed. But when he got wind of it, he paid for it. Mm -hmm. It was later I learned that he did the same thing for about six youths in the church. <laughs> His prayer life. At least the one we can see anytime we are having meeting or retreat. It can never be compared with any youth in the church. Ah ah, sister Messi. You don't realize to see that this shall be a play with the church. Well, it is true. Ah. <laughs> okay. It is true. Ah. So what about my comments? She said my What is it? Talk now. What is it? What is it? Nobody was able to convince but Israel that we should have our wedding before the mission failed. But God's work first. More so, the issue of the mission work came before the marriage plans. Mm -hmm. Two are better than one. Yes. Since they will be getting married. After the wedding, the two of them can go to the mission field together. Yes. But they didn't attend the Bible school together. Bryce is going to the mission field as a condition for graduation from the Bible school. Ah, God's work first. Don't worry, please don't worry. Since we is here already, then wedding. It is true. It's okay. It is better for Bryce to go to the mission field now, so that you don't end up doing your home in the village. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, Kinsley. Hello, Mama. Ah, Kinsley, my dear. Please don't come up now. But why? Ah, ah, Kinsley. Don't forget the way you left the village 15 years ago. Things have not improved at all. The new prince has informed the king, and it has been announced to the villagers that. Our international co sacrifice is performed. Things cannot improve. Oh. The king has objected to this several times until recently. Asumako sacrifice? Yes! Asumako sacrifice is a sacrifice that involves the cutting of the head of any stranger that enters the village. Mama, you mean they still do that? The only difference is that the priest has said. Hasumako does not accept the blood of a righteous man. So if the person is a true Christian, he cannot be killed. Agbana? Yes! Agbana the priest, the Hasumako worker. But I'm a son of the soil, not a stranger. Ah, please, 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 my dear. I know! But please allow all these things to be over. The priest has said the stranger will enter the village before the end of seven days. Please, 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 Kinsley. Eh, please. Eh, eh, bye bye. I deliberately decided to gather you 
to this special air so that we'll be able to do this special occasion and to challenge us as workers I call on the Israel Marcus to come out I want to thank God for the life of Bro Israel Marcos. Out of 126 students that enrolled for the school of ministry, he happened to be the only one that will be graduating. And I want to particularly attest to the spiritual life of this brother. Particularly his work with God. But Israel Marcus has been a special model for the youth. He has been pursuing God with all his power, with all the energy in him. And he said the Lord is leading him to go to Akasu village. He has selected Akasu village as the mission field. I want to anoint you with the power to do exploits. As you go into the Akasu village, the Lord God is going to deliver all the strength goes in a castle village unto your hands in the name of Jesus. You will release the whole village from the captivity of the devil. Amen. Go in this dark night. Go in the might of the Lord and I anoint you and send you forth in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Please come back. There is one thing I have not told you about this brother. Do you know he decided to put his wedding on hold because of this mission field? Even when his father died to disown him. And that is helping us to put across our discussion today. What shall separate you? From the love of Christ. So you can go and sit down, brother. What can separate you from the love of Christ? Is it your business? Is it money? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, please, sir. Can you please direct me to uh, any church in the village? Uh, you are a stranger. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you must be careful. But why? <laughs> They declared seven days of rituals in this village. And that any stranger that enters the village will be used as sacrifice to Asumako, the god of the land. Is that why you are afraid? You don't need to be afraid. Listen, there are many promises of God for his children. The Bible says, even when we walk, and we are beaten by scorpions, he said, it will not hurt us. And even if we do poison, we will not die. You are a Christian. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> if you are a Christian, there is no problem there. Uh, let's go to my house. Because it is sure that the God of the land will not accept the blood of a righteous man. 
The other time they tried it, they set the whole village in commotion. The whole village suffer for it. Mm. They can't use the blood of a righteous man as a sacrifice. Mm. As long as you are a Christian, they can't use you. Let's go to my house. Mm. Tomorrow, I will take you to our church. Though uh, there is no one to shepherd us again because we don't have pastor. Our pastor left the village at the height of a confrontation with the chief priest. And since then, we have never said our eyes on him. Did you say our pastor? <laughs> I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I attend church. Uh, I'm a Christian. Uh, uh, but you see, uh, those of us that remain, after the whole thing, we usually gather once in a month for prayer meeting. Uh, but um, to, uh, for the last uh, three months, I've not been able to attend the, the fellowship. Uh -huh. The whole of three months? Yes. It's not my fault. It's because of my farm work. It takes a lot of my time. And I need money. I need to finish my building. And there is nobody to help me. That is why my farm takes a lot of time. From out of my time. So that I can get money. You know, even the Bible. The Bible says that. Who is it that will start a building? And we will not finish it. The Bible says it is worse than an evil day. Uh, uh, that is not the Bible. That is not what the Bible says. Listen, sir. The Bible says, who is that man that will embark on a building? I will not sit down first to count his cost. So that after starting, he will not get to a point and not finish it. You have actually modeled it up with another part of the scriptures that says, any man who is not able to provide for his family is worse than an infidel. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. That's what I wanted to see. And uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's go to my house. Okay. Let's go to my house. Thank you. Uh, since you are a Christian, uh, 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 Sacrificial lamb has just entered the village. But I don't know whose house he has entered. This is my house. Uh, you are welcome. Uh, 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 all right, sir. Yeah, uh, 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 yes. Uh, uh, Pastor, uh, go inside. The first room that you left, uh, enter that place okay. and refresh yourself. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm coming. I will join you now. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Christian. In the instruction of the king is that if a stranger is a Christian, he cannot be used as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Even the chief priest said the same thing. Oh, that is true. 
That is true. I can remember. Ah, I can't do such a thing now. Ah, I guess. And but you not tell us that you are a visitor. <laughs> Actually, I'm just bringing him in. You just see him now. I'm just bringing him in. Uh, I guess you. You not see him in the fellowship today. Even for the past three months, you not been coming. Ah, fellowship. Is it today? I thought it will be tomorrow. Tomorrow. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today. And I remember. And I remember. And that's it. Go inside right now and bring out the stranger in your house. Or else we'll fetch him ourselves. Ah. What do you mean by fetching him yourself? He is a Christian. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, we are acting on instruction. And listen, when we get to the place of sacrifice, then we will know if he's a Christian or not. He is a Christian, you can't take him anywhere. He is a Christian. You will be Christian. You can't take him anywhere. He's a Christian. He's a Christian. You can't take him anywhere. He's a Christian. He's a Christian. Go again. Christian child of God. Hey, hey. Is a, this one is a Christian. Hey, listen to me first. I know what I'm saying. Hey, is a, hey, 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 calm down. Hey, there is no cause for alarm. The Lord is on the throne. Hey, 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 hey. Don't just be with them. We shall see. Move it. By the stone I gave you, that you must produce my son before tomorrow. If by tomorrow afternoon you say something, I'm going to send you back in. I mean everything I'm saying. I'm not joking. I you know that. Honey, the fact that this man is our only child does not mean that we should not allow him to serve God. Do you suppose that even when you put the children and send you go to the city, don't you? Woman, tomorrow, if you don't produce my son, I will be the pastor doctor. But it doesn't want to rest again. Do you know the confusion that is absent in the me today? Do you know? Do you know what you're talking about here? This is why you sit on a multi-million dollar project. I'm going to tell you how. Are you sick? Don't you ever see me in this Tomorrow. Tomorrow. from him or not. In fact, his father is threatening to throw me out of the house if I don't bring him back tomorrow. You... Okay. 
there is no cost for alarm. The boy is in control. Amen. And I will send some program to the village today. <laughs> and you may probably bring him back, sir. Maybe his father will change his mind if he sees him. Because my husband was not around when Israel left for the village. Ah. Why did you tell me that? He didn't tell me. Yes. So you know Israel, he's very much serious about the work of God. Okay. Like I said, I will send some people to the village today. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Oh, yeah, before I take a break, I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. okay. Israel Marcos? You know me? Yes. Yes. Israel Marcos is not a son of God. What? With due respect, Baba. Israel Marcos! Is a true child of God. He has zeal for the Lord. He's so diligent. He's a model among the youth. He pursues the Lord with all his energy and his might. He works for him. He is a diligent worker of the Lord. He's gentle. He's generous. He's... Uh, uh. A man cannot be said to be growing in the Lord when his birth is defective. The birth of Israel Marcos is a grafted birth. Yes, grafted birth. It is not a true conversion. True conversion? The old stock of a tree is the one to the ground. A new branch was only placed on it and tied together so that it can produce the fruits of the new branch. This is known as grafted birth. It will only produce the mixed breed of the old and the new plant. <laughs> it cannot produce a pure breed of that new plant. That is Israel Marcos. And this is true for most so called Christians today. A true conversion is a process that involves three other processes. Conviction, conversion, and conformity. For a man to experience conviction, he must be convinced of the danger of sin. The Bible says in John chapter 16 verse 8, that when he comes, he will convict the world of sin, 
of righteousness and of judgment. Conviction of sin makes you to know the venom that sin possesses. A sudden realization and understanding of your dirty and worthless old life comes to you and you want to hurriedly leave that life behind you and forget about it altogether. Conviction about righteousness is having a realization of what is right and conviction about judgment is a realization that all actions shall be judged. This did not happen when Israel said he gave his life to God in your church six years ago. Now, see this for yourself. In Jesus' name, if you know you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to come out. Come out now. If you know you want Jesus, to represent your all, to represent everything about your life. If you want Jesus to take over your life totally, come out now. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. If you know you want to give your life to Christ, please come out. Any other person? Any other person? Any other person? Thank you, two brothers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So what it means is that we have organized this crusade just because of our brother. He's the only one giving his life to Christ today. The implication is that we have organized this crusade because of him. We thank God for this that is happening. That reminds me of a man of God who left America, an American, who left the US to go and own a crusade in Russia. After much investment, only seven people gave their lives to Christ. But I want to tell you one thing today, that out of that seven people is a popular man of God that we all know that is shaking the world, preaching Christ everywhere today. So I want to believe that God has done this for a purpose. Brother, I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you today. I give my life to you today. I say bye bye to sin. I say bye bye to the world. Bye bye to the world. Bye bye to Satan. And bye bye to Satan. I invite you, Lord, to come and be the Lord of all. Come and be the Lord of all. So help me, God. So help me, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you see? See what? Brother. See what? I can only see a young innocent man who has just given his life to Christ. Hmm. Okay. This happened immediately they left the church. sexual immorality that day. It happened the same night. He only said what you asked him to say without having any genuine conviction. Thompson. Hmm. Jesus never gave an assurance of conversion to anyone 
who has not been convicted. Conversion is an irreversible change of life. So when there is no conviction, conversion can never ever be genuine. Those that do not experience conviction, giving them an assurance of conversion is a deception because they do not even know what they have repented from. Conformity is a building up to the image of Christ. That's why Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 13 says, Till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. However, people who don't have conviction before they claim to have conversion can never be confirmed to the image of Christ because you can only grow into the life of the person that birthed you. That's why he could still go into sin despite the fact that he was going for a mission field the very next day. Thank you. Can't you still change it? Change your from here. Papa, one of the six people enrolled for the school of ministry. And I happen to be the only one that scaled all the audience. Now, I need to go to the village for the last lap. And you want me to shelve it for the wedding? Oh, my dear. That's not possible now. Try to understand. Try to understand. Try to understand. I'll be back in six weeks time. I promise you. Six weeks time. <laughs> 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 My Lord, I am disappointed, Jimmy. My Lord. Oh, Jesus. God, I'm sorry. Disappoint you again. Yes. Lord, forgive us even this time. Yes. I will promise you we'll never do it again. Yes. That happened a night before his departure to the village. For the death for forgiveness of sin? <laughs> that was just a waste of time. Something. The problem is not in the act, but in the nature. The nature they carry is not that of Christ. And that was why they could commit the sin again and again. As a matter of fact, that would be the tenth time in their relationship. That's their courtship. It is the problem of the nature and not the act. Haven't you read that whosoever is born of God does not continue in sin, but the seed of God remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God? Israel's problem is a problem of birth. And don't forget that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. The way of the flesh is an impossible road 
to heaven. Born again. Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you truly in Christ? Are Am I born, born again? again? Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you truly in Stop deceiving yourself. Are you truly in Christ? Serving him faithfully. Standing on his promises. Or sitting up. Am I really born again? Of John chapter 3 verse 6, the Bible says, Flesh is dead to flesh, but the spirit is dead to spirit. Hmm. So that means no matter how much a man tries to be spiritual, it will be very difficult. <laughs> it is not only that it will be difficult. It cannot. It cannot. First and foremost, it must be done of the spirit. So man can perform spiritual activities and still be natural or fleshy. Yes. Hmm. God has to help us. Let's not forget. How many children did we have to have? Children. We are discussing spiritual work and we are talking about children. Actually, it just came to my mind, and I decided to ask you before I forget. How many? Please, now. Please, now. Please. Please, now. Three, four, or ten. How many? Please, just tell me, please. We slept together that day. And that happened two times before our marriage. And we never confessed this to anyone at any time. Foundation in ministry. So, how far? How did it go? Well, they were just asking me of the experiences I did have. Don't worry. Let us try with God to do it soon. Don't you think um, God might be saying something uh, uh, as a result of this belief of Joe? No, I don't understand. Now, oh, look at my experience from after years. I may do like. But if you got a primary school job, they will refuse because the salary was too small. 
We are only searching for a greener pasture. God has already given us a green pasture. Don't you think it would be better to settle for a full time ministry? I think that is better than this primary school job. And you know, it is our family who call you. Can you just to us? I also will be a petty life for God. But I taught as a primary school teacher, you will be able to affect lives by catching those young children, young, and their teachers as well. Okay. Okay. Am I giving up my job as well? No. No. See, you have to continue with your job. I can't be back to say that the parents can't pay them for it. In case the ministry they will be, they will expect it. <laughs> oh, God! Motivation in ministry. That was my motivation for starting the ministry. Oh my God! Even before I started praying, oh God! No wonder. No wonder. I was actually answered according to the idol in my heart. Ah! Oh God! Ah! Oh God! Oh God! To put God's properties into personal use. Without any condemnation in my heart. No conviction of righteousness of what is right. There is no condemnation in my heart. No conviction of judgment. But I'm going to give an account of all the things that I do in God's service. Oh God. My operation in ministry. Not doing the way you wanted. And by the power of the community, the last thing I should tell you that is changing that trend for good. You are coming back to the church. The next church service you are giving a testimony. The Lord says that should tell you that it's going to visit your home. That gift is going to change your life. And you are coming back to the church to give us. You are entering into a new level. Everybody that sees you, we know that something has happened to you. In four days' time, oh, a contract is coming your way. Yeah. And through, through who you never met, yeah. 
Because God Himself wants to do it. I only want psychology to do the work of God. Oh my God. as a secretary. Period! But why if I may ask? No reason. No reason. Well, she's a nice sister. Who's just doing her job? <laughs> nice sister! That is how I was just a nice, innocent sister. Who thought she was only doing a Bible study with her friends? Only to end up on his bed. Mr. Boris Pastor. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Coming to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't need to interrupt your discussion with me. Okay, um, tell him that uh, I'll be out in two minutes. Mr. Nice Master, saints in the church, this at home! This at home! Who can do that? That has always been the condition of my marriage. We disagree on almost every matter. I behave like saints in the church or when people are around us. Several quarrels has led me to cancel several ministrations. Because I feel unfit to do such ministrations. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. You need to help me. You need to forgive me, Lord. <laughs> Walk with God. study and prayer life are shaman. <laughs> I don't feel like going to meetings or in service when I'm not the one preaching. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, 
Salvation is not on the rock. Anyone that is going to be conformed to the image of Christ will have experienced genuine conversion. And there is no genuine conversion without conviction. Now, me, our back is defective. Marcus. 
Bro, Israel died in the village that he has chosen to serve. Jesus. I, as the pastor of Bro, Israel, couldn't help him because my own path is also different. <laughs> Jesus. As much as I tried in the revelation that I had, that the Lord showed to me, I found out that a man cannot give what he doesn't have. And because of this, I couldn't rescue our brother. The Lord showed me that Bro Israel did not experience conviction before he said he was converted. And because of this, his conversion was not genuine, took place of experiencing conformity. When a man is given the assurance of conversion, when he has not experienced conviction, is only being deceived. I, as your pastor, I have been living an empty life. A worthless life, a life that can never lead to heaven. And because of this, I want to charge every one of you this morning. Are you sure that your path is real? Are you sure that you experienced conviction at the point of conversion? I want you to take your personal decision. If you know that you have been convicted this morning by what has happened to our brother and by this open confession that I made because the Lord revealed that even me I have not experienced compassion because my conviction is faulty. If you are in my shoes this morning, I think we have to make it right with God. Time now has come when the worship has been worshipped. Spirit and Truly in Christ, 
walking in faithfully, standing upon His promises, or sitting upon the fence. He knows those who are serving Him. He is watching you. He is watching you. Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you truly Christ? Are you born again? you 